Hi, I'm Darren Aragon from Las Vegas, Nevada, born and raised. I'm here today with my 1974 Datsun 620 that I purchased about nine years ago. Uh, pretty much when it was purchased, it was out of Southern California. Uh, primarily just stock, stock height, stock interior. Pretty much uh, was in pretty good shape to begin with, but I obviously bought it wanting one in good shape, not rusted out because I knew I had big plans for it. So since then, I've done a number of modifications to it. Uh, I originally owned a 76 years and years ago and pretty much had bought this one uh, with drum brakes, knowing that the first thing I wanted to do was do a front brake disc upgrade. That was the first thing I did when I got the truck was pretty much went online, ordered the front disc. The front disc are for a 300ZX, 90 through 96 to 26 millimeters seats out of a 300 zx uh the truck is right hand drive so it also has the right seat is right hand drive or the uh, right the seat itself is actually power the door seals are from skillards up in oregon uh the rims themselves are uh they're armada wheels 18 by 8 so the rear disc as well are from a uh, isuzu trooper uh, completely done so the four-wheel disc conversion as well as I hooked up the e-brake which is usually a mod that most people don't go through doing just because it's pretty hectic but I managed to pull it off uh, the interior itself is as well dressed with the the sh sword shifter knob it's got a a uh, van van flex uh, back window which is actually tempered glass it's a uh, not flexi so these are, they're pretty hard to come by this, this day and age. The company, I think, went out of business in probably mid 80s. Um, the truck itself is a daily driver. It has AC, power steering, and EFI, or electronic fuel injection, whichever you'd like to call it. The power steering pump is out of a third generation MR2 Spider convertible. The AC is pretty much a system compiled of a, I believe it's a 68 to 72 uh, Chevy Nova condenser with just an aftermarket under dash unit. Uh, the EFI is by Genvi. Um, the complete system where it actually uses the Canon high rise intake. Uh, so I had the uh a guy in california custom made me the air intakes as well and then did the engraving of the word dotson and efi on it the engine is primarily stock it's got a, a header a two inch exhaust all the way back with a, I believe it's a MagnaFlow 50 muffler. Um, future plans would probably be uh, maybe a engine upgrade. Uh, we'll see. Uh, I like the drivability of it now, but otherwise uh, there's a chance it could get bagged in the future. We'll see. I don't know that I, I want to take that leap or not. End up going with the fender style mirrors as, as well. The, uh, the front end, the grill, was actually painted by Chrome Factory here in Las Vegas by a guy named Ed. Did an absolutely awesome job on it. Uh, the front bumper has been completely reworked. Uh, if you know dots and bumpers, the bolts on the sides have been shaved, the seam has been shaved, a license plate delete has been done. So it pretty much flows with the line up in the front. The front balance itself has as well been modified and notched to match. Brackets are welded on the front bumper from behind, so you don't see the bolts for that either. I uh, end up picking up the front spoiler lip, pretty much an eBay item that you get from overseas. Turned out pretty nice with the Euro fogs. 
so there are clear lenses. The uh, the emblem here is for the Ratson group. Pretty much, if you know anything about Dotsons, there's the group Ratson. Here in town, we have 702 LV Ratson. We meet every second Saturday, uh, usually at a Sonic. There's a couple that we bounce in between, but uh, we usually get a pretty good turnout every month. Uh, we've been doing that for probably about two, three years now. And uh, it's, anybody can show up. It doesn't have to be Datsuns. It can be, we have all kinds of people show up with all kinds of cars. Uh, as well, uh, when I got the truck, like I said, it was, it was yellow. Um, the second thing I did after the front disc conversion is pretty much it immediately went in for shaving. I have shaved running lights, emblems, antenna, shaved the door handles obviously the mirrors got moved to the to the fenders uh emblems uh, the body lines have all been filled keyholes have been removed uh body line let me see body lines filled uh what else along the way um, as you can tell the doors have been suicided uh as well as it has the the vent windows on it which was not an option offered on the Datsun 620 in the United States. Uh, let's see as well, the, uh, the back end has been completely modified. The side of the beds have been double walled. I actually added accent lighting for nighttime gatherings, but pretty much double walled it with pockets. So the jack, the jack bar, uh, collapsible four way, Tire wheel chocks, uh, compartments put up on the front for storage, the buttons to close them. Um, I have two motorcycles, so I set the back end up with a wheel chock, a Condor wheel chock, so I can haul both my motorcycles. It has the red tie downs up in the front. Uh, added the cargo net just so stuff doesn't go rolling around. The roll pan has been modified as well using these stock tail lights with the center section to actually integrate the tail lights and the license plate on the one I put in sequential tail lights with the clear smoke lenses uh, the bed was rhino lined as well here in town uh, the tunnel cover is a fastback 2 that has been modified to fit the truck uh, Fastback obviously didn't make a tunnel cover for the the Datsun, so this one has been uh, got modified and made to fit open and close with the strong arms. Um, when I had got the truck, it actually had a bigger like uh, snug top on it, so I actually got rid of that and went to the tonneau cover. The interior was done by Ernie's Upholstery here in Las Vegas as well. He's an absolutely awesome guy. I would highly suggest you look him up and. You have them do work for you. Uh, we actually got the perforated suede uh, with the red stitching. Uh, he completely redid the, the buckets themselves. Carbon fiber headliner as well. The dash is the original dash that he did with uh, that's just been vinyl wrapped. Uh, he as well did the door cards and they line up perfectly with the door panels themselves. Uh, the lid of the center console as well as the shifter boot. Suspension wise on the rear end, the frame has been C-notched an uh, inch and a half. Um, on the front, the upper A-arms have been extended, I believe three eighths of an inch, and the shock towers have been raised one inch. The center caps as well I had made, so they pretty much have the Datsun word, but it's in the Nissan font, and it's actually on the Nissan emblem. So you're used to seeing the emblem. Most people look at it and just figure that it says Nissan just by the factor of the font. But if you actually look detail-wise, it's actually Datsun. So the Datsun 620 here in the States did not offer wing windows. So the wing windows themselves will actually catch air and push it pretty much onto you. Then as well, it helps out with the Van Flex window in the rear so pretty much as you're driving it's not quite as good as AC but it definitely uh, remarkably helps out
so the air pretty much can come in and flow pretty much to the back window. So it actually makes it kind of nice. So you don't always have to run the AC. Uh, as well, the truck has the wink mirror. Uh, Ernie's upholstery did the visors and everything as well. Uh, quick release steering wheel. Seven inch flip out monitor. Uh, as well, uh, Ed from the Chrome factory had painted the parts of the shifter knob, the black chrome, which the truck has throughout. All the tips of the AC vents, all the knobs, everything has been accented in black chrome. Apparently in Japan, from how the story goes is, the younger generation would uh, ride the subway just like everybody else from mass transit. So everybody there knows what a subway handle is, what it looks like. So the younger generation would actually steal the subway handles because apparently when you get caught stealing in Japan, you don't just shame you, you shame your family. So it's like a huge no-no to ever get caught. So the kids would actually steal them. And then in time, when they would become old enough to drive, they would actually take them and hang them from the rear of their car as a sign of like rebellion, a sign of like they stole something and whatnot. From there, they would uh, eventually transition the car into like a drift car or something of that nature and it would actually be like a drift charmkin so where they would try to drift and see if they could drag it so that one itself is an actual subway handle from japan and they would use the different color rings apparently to say whether or not it's like first class mid class no class or whatever it is so the color rings actually stand for something as well so either way um Figured it was something nice to go along with the right-hand drive, so I pretty much located one, got it here, and installed it, and whatnot.